hello everybody it's phil from one wall studio here today and i'm extremely excited to talk to you guys about a brand new product from jmg sound in collaboration with united plugins i got this early copy for review so keep in mind that this is a pre-release copy and there may be some bugs or issues that need to be worked out in the final release however almost anything that i say today should be fixed by the time it comes out on may 30 so i have a lot to say about this plugin since it's going to be an absurdly thorough review as per usual i want you guys to know that you're getting the best possible outcome and the most out of the plugins that you purchase and so that you can make an informed decision about whether or not you want to purchase it now right off the bat i can tell you that the user interface is very interesting curious actually you've got the presets up here you've got a and b preset options which you can copy between with the copy button b copies to a if you're in b a copies to b if you're in a so you can adjust the presets here you've got this very melda looking presets folder design which also has built-in folders for the root which would have the initialization preset you can do drum presets which has options for all sorts of kit pieces including the hi-hat overheads and your typical snare and kick however i'm also going to be using this for toms as well you've got general options which basically is anything that's not drums or sound design i guess so you've got bass bubbles you've got clean box and clean mud fresh air crunch exciter guitar for acoustic all the way up to whatever you might need some piano options of course these are all presets you could build your own if you'd like i know i'm going to and some sound design options. So first off, I am using a combination of drum forge and some very, very raw samples that I've taken for blending. So right off the bat, I'm going to be trying to start with the drums. Just the absolute rawest drum samples I could find so that you can really illustrate the power of this thing. You've got the logo up here with the JMG and the Nano Pulse Transient Designer. You've got a little limiter right here. You've got a random option. You've got a power button. And if you right click, you have a whole bunch of options for uh, scaling. So you could set it to 50% if you're incredibly short on screen space, 75%, 100%, which is what it comes out of the box. On a larger screen like this, it might help to have 150% enabled. And on some Linux systems that I've been using, turning off the GPU acceleration can actually fix a black box issue, wherein the screen renders is uh, completely black. The options are still there. You can drag them, but you can't see them. It might help to turn off the GPU acceleration and use it in that mode, or you can actually turn off the UI entirely and still use it very effectively, especially in something like Reaper. And you can show all of the options laid out just like you do here. Instead of choosing from a menu, you can choose the enhancer options with a slider. So it's perfectly usable without the GUI. You can actually use it wonderfully with just this, which saves a lot of resource on systems that don't have a lot of power underneath the hood. So if you're concerned about the UI or the GPU acceleration or any of that, you can use it with a raw UI and it's perfectly fine. Back to the review. Using the power or the undo and the redo buttons, you can undo or redo any of the changes that you've made. You can turn the power on and off and you can see that it's off because the tube glow around the unit actually goes away. So you've got that blue tube glow when it's on and you turn it off, there's no glow. You've also got the enhanced transient function right here, which blends in something like a, an enhancer. It sounds like a sample but it could also be something that uses some kind of synthesis. You've got the pitch knob for the enhancer. This only affects the enhancer. The resonance slider, which also only affects the enhancer, making it a little bit more, or a little bit less peaky. A tone knob that affects the enhancer, so you can make it a darker hit or a brighter hit. You've got the original transient knob, which I frequently turn down just to listen to the blended in transient 100% so that I can hear what's going on there. And then I blend it back in and I turn down the enhanced transient until I'm pleased with how it works. So that's generally how my workflow with this boy works. What I really like about this plugin and what definitely sets it apart from all other plugins that I've ever used in terms of transient designers is this listen function. So here you can choose between listening to everything, which is, you know, totally affected period, or you can focus on just the sustain. So check this out. This is just the attack of everything under the uh, designer. 
just sustain just the lows which can of course be adjusted the crossover over here uh, where it says cross you can turn that up or down because this is three bands mids highs just the low attack just the low sustain mid attack mid sustain high attack and high sustain you can also adjust the slope for the crossovers, set it to 6 dB, 12 dB, or 24 dB per octave. Which really tightens up the bands. Now just for fun, I want to add, pull up a preset here for sound design and see what happens when I put it on your tube. It's probably going to be interesting. Ooh. It does what it says. It sounds a little bit more like you're in a tube. What about wood tap? Pop shot? So it can give everything this weird ethereal, either like plastic or wood or tubey feel. That's really interesting that you can do that overall. What if I were to add punch to the sub? Let's see what happens. Wow, it really kind of just focuses things in the low end a little bit. That's really interesting. All right, so with all these presets in mind, I'm actually going to start working on the drum sound, and then I'm gonna try and use this to potentially mix every individual part of the track, and maybe even the master. Let's see what happens. So first, I'm gonna start off with the kick drum. Definitely needs a lot of love. So, let me give it a little bit more sub 100 hertz power. Cut some of the sustain in the mids. Boost it in the highs. But I'm definitely going to need... Ooh, that sounds great. Blend it in with the original. And that's just the attack. What about the sustain? Oh yeah, now you got that natural kick sound and the blended in enhance of the transient. Whoa. What? <sighs> what happens if I change the mode from smart to spectral? Smart definitely feels like more impactful. Spectral feels a little bit more chill or a little bit more smooth. And fast feels the most smooth of all. 
Smart. Oh, dude, that sounds awesome. Okay. So I'm going to keep that then. Wow. Okay, on to the snare. I'm really excited to see what it can do for my snare. Because this snare is really warm. So if I want something brighter... I don't like that for some smack. I actually really like that. Okay. Let me blend it in with the original. Oh, man. Okay, cool. So I'm going to adjust the crossovers for my snare. Set it so that's a really high boy. I've got a lot of attack in the low end. I'm going to cut some of the sustain. Cut a little bit of that mid sustain. Boost some of that high attack. And high sustain maybe? Oh wow. That's so sizzly. Wow. Okay, these toms are definitely going to need some work. But boy, am I excited to get this working. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tom. Let me hear the attack. I feel like that's what I want. More low, less sustain, scoopy scoop. Oh, that mid's kind of gross. There we go. Let me turn up the input gain on this boy a little. That's a lot more smacky. I like that. What about on the low tom? If I cut all the mids, all the sustain, boost those highs a lot. Oh yeah, that short circuit boy works beautifully. So that's going to blend in real nice once I compress these. Oh, some nice smack to those toms. Hot, man. Beautiful. Oh man. So far, 
I'm loving how much impact these have. Wow. A lot of power out of a little thing. Hi hat. Let's see what the hi hat. Oh wow. Ooh. I actually love that preset. I might just keep that preset. It just gives it more power. Wow. I wonder if there's anything for the ride symbol. I really like the big overheads one. What if I boost the lows and the mids? Just give it a little bit more on the lows. Got rid of that nice resonance I didn't like. Super subtle, but I like the smacky thing. Throw a little bit of compression on these boys and it'll be perfect. Oh man. Everything about this is just screaming. Oh my. All right, so I just love that overhead's big preset then. I guess. Yeah, that works better, I think. Cool. Actually, let me adjust that crossover a little more. There we go. Hot. I actually really like how the drums sound. Let's give it a shot on the master boy. Let's see if I can just scoop out some of this uh, lower mid stuff with it. Wow, that almost has like a Will Putney punch to it now. So this is being blended into everything, this Alpha Strike one. I can just toss it on the whole thing and it sounds cool. Oh, that's amazing. Just 
tossing a limiter on the drum bus. Keep in mind, I've done no EQ, no compression, no anything, and it sounds so much punchier. And these were like the most raw samples I could find, like, period. Wow. So let's see what happens if I bypass all instances of it real quick. Unbypass. The whole mix is clean. Ah. What an amazing difference. And the dynamics are still maintained, which is crazy. Wow, okay, so it works amazing on drums. What kind of stuff can it do for, I don't know, bass? Yeah. It adds click. Like pick noise. Get rid of some of the noise. More low end attack. Ever so slightly adds that transient. I love it. What can it do for clean guitars? Or breakup guitars, rather. <laughs> it just adds ever so slightly that little bite. Brightening. Crunchier. That sounds so cool, though. Oh, man. I didn't expect this to sound so good on guitars. Oh, man. I don't know what it's doing, but I like it. And you can almost give it like a Leslie vibe. That's so otherworldly. Replacing the original transient with this wow boy. That's so cool. I like that a lot. All right, what can we do with this lead boy? What if? So weird. Oh, 
almost gives it like a harmonizer effect. Oh, that's so cool. You can get some super otherworldly stuff out of this. Let me go through this and see what it does to the crunch. So cool. Oops, all sustain. Now for the true test. Let's see what happens as I bypass it throughout the song. all comes forward. Man, this thing is sick. I think the answer is that yes, you can use this on everything. So with that in mind, 
I think I've thoroughly explored this beautiful plugin. Thank you guys for watching. I'm definitely going to leave a link in the description box below for where you guys can buy it or check it out or demo it or whatever you want to do. I highly recommend trying it out. I know it's only a three band transient designer, but there's also so many other things in it, like the enhanced transient option, the ability to scroll through these transient design enhancers, the presets, the limiter built in, the random option, which I haven't even used, and all of these other tweakable things that can help you get the sound that you're looking for really quickly. And if you watch my channel, you know I'm all about workflow. So this could be an absolute masterstroke of workflow in order to get the attack and sustain right where you want it to be. Definitely give it a look. It's the Nano Pulse Transient Designer from JMG Sound as part of uh, United Plugins. I just wanted to say thank you for watching. My name is Phil Zio from Wall Studio. And if you don't mind, my wife is always telling me to plug. So I only have about 34 bottles of Rockstar left. And if I don't plug my channel and ask you guys to like, comment, and subscribe, then I'm not allowed to buy more. My beating heart requires that I continue to consume caffeine. So if you don't mind, like, comment, subscribe, and share the video anywhere you want, because the more views I get, the more Rockstar and or Monster I'm allowed to buy. So I'm Phil from Wolf Studio, and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.